Many people have forgotten that it was two decades ago the United States went through a similar process trying to convince North Korea to give up its nuclear ambitions. It negotiated a so-called framework agreement that froze North Korea's nuclear program. The policy, though, failed because North Korea cheated and was able to obtain nuclear capability. But yesterday I sat down with Robert Gallucci, the point man who negotiated that framework agreement in 1994, and he said it's a mistake to consider it a failure. Those negotiations, I hasten to point out, meant that at the end of the decade, instead of the North Koreans um, having 200 nuclear weapons, they had none. They might have had the same one or two they had when we started the negotiations, but the agreed framework shut down their program. And people kind of forget that. Gallucci says the U.S. really has just three options. It can cut the best deal it can with Iran, or it can walk away and do nothing and see what happens, or it could weigh military options. But he said what it can't do is weigh this deal against a mythical future deal that might be unattainable. No deal that you, I, or anybody else can ever negotiate with any country, never mind a rogue state like this, will be better than a deal that someone else can imagine. Right? So if that's your standard, you'll never meet it. Gallucci says the key to avoiding the failure of the North Korea policy is intrusive inspections, what he called anywhere, anytime inspections by the IAEA. That means Iran can't say that a military base is off limits or require 30 days notice. The inspectors need to be able to go in at any time, any place to see that this agreement is being kept.